What's up guys? Good morning! Welcome to another video of Teddy Berms. This is going to be a very simple one, so let's get to it. First thing that you need to know is I haven't tried this on iOS yet. So if your phone is an Apple product, um, I'm sorry, I'm not sure if this works on Apple, but this works on Android. Okay, first thing that you need to do, mga kaibigan, um, is to head to your Play Store. And once you're in your Play Store, you search nyo iton app, that one in the screen, Droid Cam X. Ayan, Droid Cam X, or the, it, it was previously called Droid Cam X, pero ngayon, Droid Cam Wireless. So once you are in, i-click nyo lang yung install. And then, pag na-install nyo na po, and once you open your app, you'll be seeing this um, IP address on your screen. Just disregard that. I'll be explaining that later for those who are not that good in technology. And the next thing you want to do is you can just leave your phone. And then let's head to our um, computer. Alright, now that you're in your computer, head to a browser, which can be Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, or whatever. Just follow this link above or check out the description below. Um, the website link is over there. You need to download this for your computer so that it can connect to your phone, which will act as your webcam. Alright, this is what it looks like once you're in the link. Um, you just have to click on this, this one. You, uh, you can see my cursor of the mouse click that and it will start downloading and as long as that is done let's just wait for a couple of minutes there you go and then now you can click the download there it will ask for permissions um, I have already downloaded this application so I won't have to accept this anymore but for you on your end you need to accept it and then once it installs it may take a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your computer but as long as it is done um, it will automatically run or if it hasn't opened yet you can open it manually um, let's head back here to the computer example if you have um, opened it um, the app should look like this there if you can see it in my mouse and just double click it and it will open like that and it should show you this <coughs> um, the first the first field here says device IP and the droid cam port um, these details will be found here on your phone the thing that we opened earlier which I mentioned I will be explaining you need to input the same info found here in your phone as here um, the, this is called the IP address so in easy terms um, the address of your phone needs to be the same with the address which you will be entering there that way they can meet together all right I have this IP address just enter that in and then also copy the droid cam port which is found in your phone as well very easy and then once you've entered that select video if you would like to use it as your webcam next is if you do not have an earphones or an headphones as will serve as your mic you can um, click on audio as well and click on start and once that starts you should be able to see there it is now connected with your phone um, what if you want to use your front camera that is possible as well you just have to head back so if you do not want to use your back camera and if you want to see yourself during the setup that's no problem we can we can do something about that you just have to head to your droid application and select front camera click on the the settings it should be able to show there and select camera there camera and then click on front right very easy head to settings select camera select front settings camera select front that that will use the front camera and not the back camera all right so let's head back to the application the same process still you open let's head back to the computer you open the application double click enter the same IP address and the same droid cam port as found on your phone and once it is ready it should be able to show there I won't be using any stand so this is for everyone um, you don't 
if you don't have a tripod that's fine if you do not have a stand or a selfie stick that's fine you can use um, this one the charger so let's just place that there decent stand for your webcam and now that once it is ready this is going to work in messenger on Google Meet on zoom I've tried it for my work I actually don't have a, a webcam but I use this for my work it's also gonna work for Skype yeah it's gonna work for Skype and any other application that requires a camera as long as you select droid cam as the source of your camera all right so if you're having any problems just let me know i hope this really helped you if you liked it leave a like subscribe for more content check out my channel i, I do make a lot of videos um, i don't have a niche i just make a lot of videos that are entertaining and that are you can, something that you can relate to thanks for watching guys see you next time teddy burns out bye